Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you. My name is Nikhil. So this is part 3 of scope application where we are building ticket booking application. So we have these two use cases in this session. The first is remove status field from the seat table and add two date fields that are in booking date and traveling date in booking information table. So earlier here there was a field called status in seat table that I have removed from here and if I open you could see the status has been removed. Second I had to add two fields booking date and traveling date and that also I have added and to check the type uh, you could see here type is glide date okay. and here also type is glide date that's it and the second use case if all seats are booked on the same traveling date and it should not allow to book the new one booking date should be less than the traveling date and the customer can book the ticket before 1 p for that i have written the business rule for this booking information table so according to use case the scenario is that if the traveling date will be less than the booking date then it should not allow to update or insert the booking information record and if the traveling date is greater than the booking date but the booking date is just uh, before uh, two, three, four days. So in that case also, it should not allow to book the ticket. Means you could see customer can book the ticket before one week only. So let's see the business rule. I will show you first how it is working. So let's see. I am inserting another record and if I will select the date less than the booking date currently the booking date is 17 if I will select 15 years okay. and just save you could see booking date should be less than the traveling date this error will be shown to us Okay, and next see if the booking date is just uh, before is a uh, 24 right so 21 and I'll try to update you could see you can book your ticket before one week only right okay and the last scenario uh, for this transporter we have uh, four installed seats and all these four seats are booked on same date and if i will again try to book on same date it should not allow because all seats are booked on same date it should allow in next date so i just want to insert an state so all seats are booked on selected traveling date if uh, this is showing new times i will remove that so invalid update so let's see how i have written the business rule to achieve these features. So 
So I've created a business tool named Compare Booking Date and Traveling Date, and which will execute before insert or update. First, I am taking the sys ID of the transporter record through the seat field of the booking information record because booking information record is not the direct child of the transporter but seat is the direct child of the transporter so and uh, booking information record has field called seat which is referring to the seat record so with the help of that we can able to access the transporter records is id okay. and here i have created a two glide date object and setting this display value of booking date and traveling date and then after i am subtracting a uh, traveling date by booking date and it will return some duration and from the duration i'm trying to access the day path and it will go into this days variable and here if the days is less than equal to 0 means while subtracting after subtracting if we will get the answer in minus it means the traveling day is less than the booking day so for that this message will appear booking date should be less than the traveling date and if else if the days is less than 7 if we will get the value in positive but we are booking just uh, before 2 4 2 uh, 3 4 days so in this case also it should not allow to book so this message will be okay you can book your ticket before fun week only and the last else part if uh, this both conditions will not match it means we are able to book we can book the ticket but the problem here is that as i said if we are booking the seats on the same date which which has already booked then it should not allow so first time trying to access all the seats associated with this transporter record so you could see the glide record added here it will return the total number of seats and it will store into this variable total seats and this function get all get total seat booked in same time to check how many seats are booked in the same on the same day okay and uh, so the p on not in okay same day if both will match total seats and total book seats on the same date will match it means all seats are booked on selected traveling date right so it should not allow to perform update or insert operation to prove it i am writing this line for in that set report action true and friend this filter to get this filter all you have to do here is that uh, go to this booking information table list score list and click this filter icon here and select uh c okay 
sheet fills uh, from the sheet fills we have to select the transporter and if the transporter select any transporter like this and run right click on any sheet uh, number and click so much after that we just have to copy this query and paste here others like here transporter and date should be dynamic so this date i am passing the display value okay i will show the screen see okay uh, click to remove this and to do so matching with this <laughs> so you could see. only I have changed is that uh, this state, this state, this state, and the, the transporter. Okay. And from the booking information, uh, we have to check. How many seats are booked on the same day? Okay, and this is it. That's it. So that's all for this video session. If you really like this video, please do share and subscribe. And if you will follow along with me, then it would be uh, good for you to understand the process of project that how project can be developed what all decision we have to take to fulfill the delivery of an application okay all these things you have you will learn not only that uh, you are getting the technical ideas also so thank you for 